Hey, hey, it's uh, Corey's Cooking in Neil's Kitchen um, Friday. <laughs> Welcome to uh, my cooking adventures. So tonight I am making an, a dish that I think will be perfect for the fall. This dish is actually going to serve six people. It's called the Jalapeno Chicken Bake Recipe. And it's got pretty simple ingredients. It's got chicken breasts, three of them, I cut them in half. Cream cheese, light. Bronzes of cheddar cheese. A cup of jalapeno peppers. Garlic powder. And then when my bake is in the oven, I'm gonna bake up some chicken or turkey bacon. So pretty simple ingredients. And the first step is you put your chicken down in the pan, easy enough. And then you're going to spread the cream cheese over the chicken. Interesting. I've not made this before, so it's my first time um, making this recipe. I'm going to show you why I like our recipes, because they are pretty simple for people even like myself um, to be successful and I spent a few minutes cutting up the peppers and opening the packages, honest, that is, <laughs> of the cream cheese. And I'm just spreading it on the chicken. So it, it really looked pretty. That's the only reason why I chose it, is it looked really cheesy and it's got some dairy. <laughs> So for those of you who can't eat dairy, maybe not. This not might not be a recipe, but the cream cheese on here. And I think I got it pretty slathered. It says spread it on there. So I'm just spreading it on the chicken, spreading it. It didn't say thick or thin, but it told me to use a whole eight ounces. So I'm thinking I'm going to get pretty good here. And any of you critics that want to tell me how thin or thick it should be but so far okay the next ingredient is it says to put a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and it just says to sp sprinkle the garlic powder on top of the on top of your chicken and your cream cheese so I'm just sprinkling and I did not weigh a half a teaspoon I'm just gonna sprinkle the cream the the garlic powder right on this whole thing. I can see where I want more cream cheese. I see it. I see it. Not, yeah, spread it. It kind of settles a little bit. And I suppose you could actually even put the cream cheese on first, or the powder garlic powder right on the meat Julia Childs I am not <laughs> the next step so now I got the garlic powder and I'm gonna put a little bit more yesterday my those meatballs I made if you like garlic they were really garlicky but they were really yummy I'm just gonna say so then next, I'm just gonna take my green pepper, the jalapeno peppers, and I'm just laying them on top of the chicken. I'm gonna get really good at this baking thing and cooking thing again. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, last step before they go into the oven is your cheddar cheese. And it just says to sprinkle the cheddar cheese right on top. And this is gonna bake in a 375 oven for about 40 minutes. And at the last, when the, at 40 minutes, you take it out and you're gonna put your crumbled bacon on top. And 
bake it for another five minutes. And I will show you the after picture later, but I'm gonna put it in the oven like that. And voila, this is jalapeno chicken bake. And it is serve six, and then you'll, you'll pair this with the beautiful side salad or a steamed vegetable of your choice, and you would have a full, complete lean and green meal that would su support your health goals if you're working towards them. Have a happy Friday. Thanks for joining me in Neil's Kitchen. <laughs> have a good night.